Welcome to Safe Goal Full and Junior Size Assembly video. Here is the hardware kit provided for the goals, along with the necessary tools for assembly. The 3mm hex key, the 4mm hex key, the 5mm hex key, the 13mm or half inch open end wrench or channel lock pliers, Phillips number 2 screwdriver, utility knife, and rubber mallet. Start by laying out all the parts as shown, making sure all the angles of the ends of each bar are oriented to fit properly with the wheels positioned on the outside of the goal. Begin assembly by attaching the crossbar to the sidebars or uprights using the black internal corner brackets with the slightly wider side facing down and the flat internal brackets stacked up on top as shown. Secure these brackets in place by using four of the four millimeter screws per corner. Attach the outer corner bracket with the side support mount to the same corner using four of the short five millimeter screws. Be sure the internal bolt pattern of the outer corner bracket is vertical, allowing the long five millimeter bolt with washer and 13 millimeter nut to sit vertically as shown. Next, use the flat internal corner bracket and the internal corner bracket with the screw holes on top to attach the sidebar uprights to the wheel section. Be sure to insert the flat internal corner bracket first, then the internal corner bracket next into the bottom of the sidebar, uprights. Then orient and fit the wheel section onto the remaining portion of the brackets and fasten with four four millimeter screws. Next, remove the long 5mm bowl washer and 13mm nut provided in the outer corner bracket and attach the top of the side support to the outer corner bracket using the long 5mm bolt washer and 13mm nut that was removed. Next, attach the crossbar support bar between the crossbar and the side supports. Be sure the flat end of the crossbar support bar is attached to the sliding flat plate within the crossbar using one short five millimeter screw. Note, you may have to relocate the net clip that is there using a three millimeter hex key. Also, do not tighten the screw yet. Now, attach the curved end of the crossbar corner support bar to the side support using a long five millimeter bolt and 13 millimeter nut. Once proper fit is acquired, then tighten all screws and bolts. Next, attach the safe gold net retention strap to top rear of the side supports by removing the eye bolts first and attaching them to the side supports. Then, attach the net retention strap to the eye bolts and adjust the turnbuckles and strap tension as necessary.
Next, drape the net over the goal from the rear, being sure to orient the net properly based on the net seams. Note, the black rope is the marker used to orient the net to the goal frame. The black rope and the safe gold net retention strap should be repositioned alongside one another for proper net positioning. Next, start in one corner attaching the net to the net clips on the crossbar and sidebars upright as shown. Next, Flip goal to the upright position making sure the rear wheels are deployed to the rolling position and the front wheels are retracted in the nested position. This allows the rear base bar to be attached. Next, remove the rubberized edge protector from both ends of the rear base bar and insert both of the flat internal corner bracket and the internal corner bracket into the rear base bar as shown. The flat internal corner bracket is positioned on top of the internal corner bracket as shown. Be sure not to fully fit rear base bar to wheel section yet. To allow the counter weights steel bars insertion into the rear base bar. Next, fully fit rear base bar to wheel sections and using four millimeter screws per corner, tighten and secure each corner. Attach lower end of side supports to flat internal corner bracket into the rear of the wheel section using two short 5mm screws. Tighten down any screws that have not been fully tightened down yet. Next, using the 3mm hex key, fully seat the 3mm screw into as many neck clips as needed to be placed into the corners. This allows the neck clips to be inserted by hand. Attach the net to those neck clips that were just added as well as to the rear base bar. Here, we are illustrating proper wheel handling placement when the wheels are deployed for goal mobility. Next, deploy front wheels to the rolling position so the entire goal is now off the ground in order to facilitate wrapping the net to the goal frame with the provided rope. Assembly of the safe goal adult size goal is now complete. Enjoy!